Hi everyone, Ron Kreider. Good morning. It's March the 30th. It's a Monday. And start out with our cases today, the global cases. 724,945, an increase over yesterday of 46,225. Global deaths, 34,041, and an increase of 2,341 over yesterday. U.S. cases, 143,055. It increased by 18,470 over yesterday. U.S. deaths, 2,513. There was a 322 increase over yesterday. Florida deaths, 60. There was an increase of 4 over yesterday. Florida cases, 4,950. And Florida hospitalized, 633. Okay, let's take a look at Dade County. 1448 currently with a 351 increase. Broward County, 922 with a 121 increase. Palm Beach County, 368 with a 64 increase. Martin County, 26 and 0, no increases. St. Lucie County, 22 and 4 increases. Indian River County here in Vero Beach, 18 with 2 increases. Brevard County, 27 with 2 increases. And Orange County, 248 with 50 increases. Well, thank you very much for watching the numbers. Here is the news for today. It's March the 30th. It's Monday morning. It's coming up on 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try to have all this up for you by 8 o'clock in the morning. There's always some early news I'd like to get on before I do this because I'd rather only do one a day. I'll do two if I need to. If there's something important, I'll stick another one in. So please stay at home. Don't go out needlessly. Distance as recommended. We can lick this thing, but we need everybody's cooperation. I have to tell you, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I hate to say that. I don't like to say that, and I'm not trying to be an alarmist. But the bottom line is I watch a lot of TV. I pay a lot of attention to all of the networks. I don't just watch Fox. So uh, I, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty informed. I'm a news junkie, and I try to analyze what I hear and just kind of average it out. Palm Beach County is bracing for a rise in the number of positive COVID-19 cases this week, in the press conference on Sunday afternoon, county leaders said the increase is expected as more testing becomes available. Now, that's the deal here. As they do more tests, they're going to find more cases. And until we get enough testing, we're not really going to know exactly where we are. Here's another interesting thing that I didn't realize. I saw this first thing this morning. Traffic was backed up for miles along Interstate 95, heading from Georgia to Florida on Sunday. Governor Ron DeSantis ordered a checkpoint to enforce a new order. The travelers from New York, New Jersey, Louisiana, Connecticut, um, and uh, I think uh, Louisiana and Connecticut, right, uh, self-isolate for two weeks when they come into the state of Florida. So the, there was this big line up there at the Georgia-Florida uh, line on Sunday. Uh, a lot of people do watch these videos because they're on my Facebook, especially down in Stewart and Palm Beach, because I do a lot of work on the, for the Catholic radio station in Stewart and in Palm Beach. The Treasure Coast Food Bank will be distributing emergency food throughout their drive through mobile pantry on Wednesday, beginning April the 1st. It will take place between 10 a.m. and 12 noon, or until the food runs out. That's at the Martin County Fairgrounds. Participants will remain in their vehicles. No walk-ups are permitted. If you are sick, they ask you to remain at home and send somebody else over for the food. Vouchers are not required to receive food. It's at the Martin County Fairgrounds. It's located at 2616 Southeast Dixie Highway in Stewart. So, you know, I got to tell you, the distilleries are getting on board. These distilleries uh, are making the hand sanitizers, and that includes Bacardi, and uh, that's a nice thing to see that they've turned their distilleries into hand sanitizing companies. More than 1,500 workers will be working in GM's plant in Kokomo, Indiana. They're manufacturing the ventilators. They said we would love to see the first ones roll off the line in 30 days. The ventilators will go to hospitals in New York, Detroit, to New Orleans, Chicago, and everywhere across the country that they are needed. Oh, here's something you probably should know. COVID-19 viruses are likely to be killed by cooking food. But room temperature foods like salads or sandwiches could potentially harbor that virus. So 
cooking is good. You should probably cook just about everything. Another thing that someone pointed out to me, I noticed that around where I live, a lot of people are leaving their shoes in the hallways. I live in a condominium building. So in the hallways by their door, their shoes that they wore outside are now at by their door as you come into their condominium as opposed to bringing them in because once again, they fear that that will bring in the virus from the outside. Good idea, I hadn't thought about that. So we leave our shoes outside. Effective immediately, all recreational boats must at least 50 feet apart. Each uh, vessel must have no more than 10 people aboard. And once again, I remind you, I mentioned this before, and I did a video on the Tide's restaurant. Uh, she's doing lunch, uh, Chef Leanne, she's doing lunch and, and doing dinner. You can get pre-prepared food there. She will deliver, or you can come by and pick up. I did mention the fact, and I did a video on the fact that she's sort of converted her restaurant into kind of a little pop-up grocery store. And this isn't for everybody. There are some of you folks that take great offense to this, that She's charging six times what, that's absolutely not true. It's, stop with that kind of stuff. Uh, she's doing it as a convenience to people who come by to pick up food to take out. If they'd like to pick, pick up a little bit of wine, they'd like to pick up some vegetables. I, some of, most of her vegetables are pre-wrapped. They're not just open laying there, although some of the potatoes are and so forth. But bring them home and wash them so that people haven't touched them. I also did a video on a number of restaurants around town that are open for pickup and or delivery. You have to check with each one of them. They keep changing their times. If I had to check one of, on all of those every day, they would all be different. But they don't, every day they don't all change, but be careful about that because they are doing it and they're doing it as the only reason they're doing it is they, they need to stay open and keep their people working somehow. And they think they are definitely providing a good service for your favorite restaurant. And just about all of them are doing it. Obviously, uh, the Tides is doing it. And don't forget John Marks and Kelly at the Polo Deli. The Polo Deli, now we're talking about the original Polo Deli down on Cardinal Drive. They're open every day, and you can give them a call, and she will give you, you can get pre prepared food and pick it up as you drive up, or they'll bring you a menu out. They would prefer you call and do everything on the phone and just come by and pick it up. Uh, from six to eight, I believe, on. Uh, Weekdays, the uh, Ocean Grill is doing takeout, and so is Mulligan's over here on the beach. So I just thought I would throw those things out. We have to do everything we can to help these restaurants because it's going to be a tough row to hoe for them to get back on their feet. And as you can see over the weekend, President's walked back the fact that he was hoping to have everything going by Easter. He was hoping, and uh, that obviously didn't pan out, so he's said, okay, we're going to have to do what we have to do, and it looks like might not get back to normal until the end of April, if then. So we just all have to hang in there and do the best we can with what we have. I hope you have a really good day. If anything new pops up throughout the day, I'll create another video for it. If you have any questions, especially you people, uh, my neighbors uh, in the neighborhood, just uh, leave me a message. I'm Ron Kreider at gmail.com. If you'd like to send me a Gmail message or you have some questions, I'll try to answer them for you if I can. I'll either respond to you by email or uh, I'll respond to you on the video. So have a really great day. Please, please, please stay in. Don't go out. Don't associate with anybody. Be a hermit for a little bit. Okay? See ya. Oh, and by the way, folks, there was some question about the, where I got my information. Somebody thought I was just pulling it out of my ear. That's not true. If you can see, here's a screenshot that I took just a little bit ago. I get it from the Florida Department of Health. It's very official. I, I can't make this stuff up. I just report what I see. You can go there as well yourself. So I try to be as accurate as possible. And if you look over my shoulder when I'm making the video, you'll see a clock there. It'll show you exactly what time I was doing it. I also try to get these things done in less than 10 minutes from now on, because if it lasts longer than 10 minutes, YouTube sticks a commercial in there. And a lot of people think that I'm getting paid for this or there's a commercial in there and I'm putting that commercial there. Not so. I also do not put the commercial in at the beginning and the end. YouTube does that as well. It has nothing to do with me. I don't get paid for this. I'm not making any money off of it. Uh, I'm not asking you to sign up for anything. I'm not asking you to. I do ask you to subscribe though because if you subscribe then the next time I do a video you'll see it. And also give me a like if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching. Once again have a wonderful day.